During the investigation of the Titanic shipwreck, researchers made an intriguing discovery. They noticed something peculiar and unusual while examining the ship's wreckage at the bottom of the sea. The front portion of the ship was in relatively good condition, while the rear section was in extremely poor condition and located 2,000 feet away. It is well known that iron and steel corrode when they remain at the bottom of the sea for a hundred years. If both sections were part of the same ship and sank at the same time, why was there such a significant difference between the front and rear sections? Researchers believe that apart from colliding with the iceberg on that fateful night, something else happened to the Titanic. It was speculated that some force caused the rear section to experience more impact. However, the truth of what exactly occurred remained unknown. Recently, a video from an expedition surfaced, filmed in dark waters about 700 kilometers off the coast of Newfoundland, Canada. During the incident, a total of 2,240 people were on board, of which 1,500 lost their lives. What was considered inconceivable became apparent in the face of the power of nature the Black Sea swallowed the Titanic. The eyewitnesses of the tragedy were those lucky few who managed to escape the ship and ended up in the cold waters of the Atlantic Ocean. From the collision with the iceberg to the sinking of the ship, the events that transpired were witnessed only by those who were engaged in a battle between life and death in the icy water. The first rescue ship, RMS Carpathia, arrived at the scene approximately one and a half hours after the Titanic sank. They were fortunate to receive the Titanic's distress message, otherwise, the individuals engaged in the struggle of life and death would not have survived. However, until now, no one knew the truth about the Titanic's sinking. During the investigation, initially, nobody knew what happened to the ship. But then, survivors revealed that the ship had collided with an iceberg. The statements made by the survivors matched with a huge hole left by the iceberg found at the Titanic's site. The entire side of the Titanic had been torn apart, indicating that the ship sank within a few minutes, not hours. The truth was unknown to anyone at the time. Finding the truth required locating the Titanic wreck. The search for the Titanic continued for many years, and with each passing year, the mystery became more intriguing. Finally, after 73 years, when the Titanic was discovered, it became a breakthrough for marine industries. All the questions that the Titanic left behind were now ready to be answered. The Titanic lay in the complete darkness of the 4,000-meter deep Atlantic Ocean. Numerous expeditions were arranged, and they captured countless photographs of the shipwreck. Ocean explorer Paul-Henri Nargelet has visited the Titanic wreck over 30 times but has never seen a 300-foot hole. However, the profile photos of the Titanic indicate that something had struck it, leaving a 30-foot crack. According to calculations, it is estimated that 376 gallons of water per second could enter the Titanic through that hole. Filling the ship with water at that speed means that the entire ship would have been flooded in about two and a half hours. According to eyewitness accounts, it took the Titanic around two and a half hours to sink. Meaning, a mystery was finally solved, there was not a 300-foot hole in the Titanic, but rather a 30-foot crack. However, this was not the only mystery that needed to be unraveled. While investigating the Titanic shipwreck, researchers couldn't understand why the next portion of the ship, known as the bow, was in better condition than the rear section, known as the stern, and why there was such a significant distance between them. To solve this mystery, they utilized high-tech sonar scanning technology. Using computer graphics, ROVs captured thousands of photos of the Titanic shipwreck site and converted them into a 3D model. The model contained all the details that cannot be seen by a regular camera or the human eye at that depth. In the model, it can be observed that the decks of the 392-foot-long stern are intertwined with each other as if the ship were made of paper, not steel. Different parts of the ship have separated and scattered around. Only two large engines, attached to it, resemble the size of a house. Another significant clue is hidden in this model which reveals the condition of the stern. When the stern collided with the ocean floor 110 years ago, 
the signs of the impact are still present and can only be seen through the 3D model. These signs indicate that at the time of the collision, the stern was rotating counterclockwise. Scientists can estimate from these signs that the stern was rotating at a speed of 80 km per hour when it hit the ocean floor. As the stern was moving at such a speed in the depth of the water, the forces of water created chaos and ultimately crushed all the loose parts of the ship when it collided with the ocean floor, for kilometers below. On the other hand, as you can see, the design of the bow section is hydrodynamic, meaning it can easily cut through the water, just like the way a ship cuts through the water when floating. This is why the bow section was not rotating and the forces of water were not directly attacking it. Finally, another difficulty related to the incident that occurred 110 years ago has been resolved. But there is another question that must be answered, and it is essential to find the answer. When did the Titanic split into two sections? As you may know, the two sections split before the ship sank, and this news is partially true. However, when water filled the bow section, it submerged, causing the center pivot point of the stern section to rest on the center. This center pivot point could not bear excessive weight, causing the stern to break into two sections. But the 3D model created from sonar scanning tells a slightly different story. Yes, if you look closely, you'll see that the artifacts and belongings inside the Titanic are scattered throughout the ocean floor. There are many coffee cups, dinner plates, chandeliers, deck benches, and personal belongings of people. 90% of these items belong to the stern section. More than 10,000 items are spread across this vast area, which is approximately 3.2 square kilometers in size. If this section had separated from the bow section above the water, it would mean that it spread over an area larger than 3.2 square kilometers on the ocean floor, as you can see in this animation. Therefore, experts believe that this section broke off above the water but remained close to the ocean floor, then rotated and changed its direction before falling 2,000 feet away. Today, the body of the Titanic has completely rusted. Scientists believe that oxygen is scarce at this depth of the ocean, which slows down the rusting process. However, when some samples were taken out for testing, it was discovered that the rusting is caused by oxygen released from bacteria. Experts believe that at the rate the rust is spreading, in the coming years, all the floors of the Titanic will collapse onto each other and eventually lose their original shape forever. If you enjoyed this video leave a like and subscribe to Wonderful Stories, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next amazing video.